Alright, hey guys, this is going to be a video tutorial on the basics of ZBrush, the latest version. But this also applies to any other version, except for maybe plugins and stuff like that. Other than that, it's basically just the same thing. Alright, so let's get started by booting up ZBrush. Let it load. Let it load. And there. As you can see, it's not all that different from 3.5. The only main and obvious is the light box is underneath instead of up here. And same thing if you want to get rid of it, there's a couple ways to do that. You can just hit light box and it'll go away. It's just the easiest way. Or if you just want to be complicated, just move that around, increase the size and hide. I, in bigger monitors, you probably can just hit hide, but since I'm on a really small monitor, Got to do all that mumbo jumbo, but like I said, light box opens, hides. All right, so let's first get into what we're looking at here right now. What the place where you're mostly going to be paying your attention on us on the tool palette, sub palette, which is also underneath here, it goes away, it goes over there. Also, like if you want to move another item over here, like preferences there's these little buttons on the menus and you just grab them and drag them over here and like you have your movies like let's say you're gonna make a turntable of one of your models you instead of having to go over here with all that drama just hit it right here and like let's say you're done with it just drag it off and it'll disappear over here you can like if you have a big monitor just open that up and you can drag like your stroke like your brushes over here you can have them switch them instead of having to go there and opening them up alright so first off let's, let's load a tool and uh... okay let me find something oh yeah some of the main ZBrush works with two type of files which are OBJs which you import from Maya or Z I'm sorry, from Maya or 3ds Max and its native files which are Z tools or CTLs. Once you save an op an OBJ it becomes a ZTL and you gotta export the file in order to use it again in Maya or 3ds Max. Alright, so let's draw our object on the canvas. And if you're new to ZBrush, one thing you will notice is Let's say you draw it like I all right. Let me try and modify this, and it's like, oh, what's that? Black, 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 black. black. What's basically doing is we haven't hit the edit button, so basically we're just, just dropping objects on the canvas and just creating a mess. And there's two ways to clear this. The easy way is Control N. Uh, the other way is going to your documents, new document, but Control N works just fine it's way faster alright so create the object hit edit and now no more models One of the, let's go through the navigation of the object or how to work in ZBrush basically if you click outside the model you can rotate it up down whatever you like Let me Turn down level subdivisions there, so move a little bit faster. There we go. All right. Let's say you want to zoom in. You hold down Alt, click on the screen, and let go of Alt, and you can zoom in and out of your object. Let's say you're. Let's say you create an issue where like you're super zoomed in into your object, and let's say we didn't have a space to click out of the object to zoom out. There's these white lines up top of your model. If you click there, it's they're called safe zones. Basically, you can use them to scroll in and out, or you can also just use the scale right here, which is actually easier than just trying to click between that. Mm, shift click basically centers your image. Or snaps it to an, a certain degree. Alright. 
Let's go into the brushes now. By default, you'll always start off with the standard brush and your symmetry. Right now, I have symmetry on. Symmetry by default will be off, like right now. So if I do something on one side, it won't populate on the other one. So to activate symmetry, you can go to transform and activate symmetry. That will activate your symmetry. Or the best way, just hit X on your keyboard and it'll activate your symmetry. Alright, so as you probably notice, what standard brush does is it sort of inflates the geometry of your model. It's very useful to create certain land masses, certain objects in it. In it. It's like you can see here, this model I used, standard brush to create this, 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 this. Standard brush is basically going to be your workhorse, and if you hold down Alt while working on it and clicking on the model, it'll dig into the model. And someone's going to back to interrupt me right about now. All right, guys, we will talk about this later. See you in the next video.